Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Macca here. Welcome to my ReCore collectibles guide for all 40 audio logs available in the game. This video took me a very long time to put together, so if you find it useful, dropping a like would be very appreciated. By attaining all 40 of the audio logs, you'll unlock a total of 4 achievements worth 10 gamer score each for 40 gamer score total. There are 40 audio logs grouped into 4 groups of 10 known as Roldan, Violet, Natalie Bright, and Thomas Adams. I'll be going around the map and showing their locations, assuming you've already beaten the game so that you have access to all of the core bots and frames. Make sure you watch the entire clip before going into the game to get it to make sure that you have the right core bots selected, as some of the audio logs will require you to use a specific frame. As you saw, the first collectible, Roldan 1, can be found in the northwest of the Granite Steps near a cave. Violet 1 can also be found near this area, going from your crawler location directly across the open desert into a small pipe. On top, you will find that collectible. From the location of the previous collectible, we can find Adams 1 by slightly backtracking to where the tutorial kind of ends, going back to the small rock formation that's kind of in the middle of the large canyon, climbing to the top in order to find the log as well as a prismatic core. Sorry about the other day. Moving on to the Lonely Basin, as soon as we enter from the granite steps, you'll find Natalie Bright, log number one, to your right hand side on some rocks. Good morning, Dr. Roldan. How are you feeling? Roldan 2 can be found inside of Lonely Basin, inside of the structure in the middle. You'll notice that there is a large sand cloud because I captured this near the beginning of the game during a story mission. Although if you've beaten the game, this place would have opened up and the sandstorm would have already cleared. Adams 3 can be found closest to this fast travel point just behind some debris. Happy to know that I'm keeping up our tradition. Natalie Bright number four can be found in this large area, which will require you to use the spider bot as well as possibly the flyer bot in order to attain. This is by the repository Blitz Optional Arena, and you'll need to make your way up on top of the tower on one of the catwalks in order to be able to find it. You can find Violet 2 off near this puzzle area. There is a small alcove section with a break in between the barriers that line the area. And next to some spaceship parts, you'll find the audio log. The next one we can find is Natalie Bright number two. This one is very close to the fast travel point that leads into the cradle. From the fast travel point, just go into the group of rocks and you should be able to easily spot it.
Doctor, hold on. I received your... Violet 7 can be found nearest the entrance of the Proving Ground dungeon off to the right-hand side of Lonely Basin. You will require a flyer bot to get to this area. Inside of Lonely Basin, you'll find a dungeon called Pylon 512, which is a part of the story, but you can revisit it if you need to. You can find Adams 2 inside of the open area near the middle. If you enter the area, it'll be on the opposite side, so the back right-hand side of where you entered. When the mandate discovered Far Eden, they call We've now moved on from the Lonely Basin into the Cradle. You'll notice that I've made my way into the bottom left area where the quicksand is and on to the towers that kind of lead into the big puzzle areas. You'll have to make your way onto some of the broken debris that can be found off in the distance. Keep in mind that if you land in the quicksand, you will uh, sink to the bottom and die. You can find the uh, audio log inside of the back of this little plane part thing. It's unfortunate that you have decided to ignore my request. I admit, Violet number three can be found extremely close to the fast travel point that is in the top left of the circle inside of the middle of the map. Roldan 3 can be easily spotted just outside of Kai's crawler in the cradle. Moving on from Kai's Crawler, if you go up the path to the top left, before the quicksand area, you can find Violet number 8 off to the left by hugging the cliffs and spotting it near some debris. From the fast travel point in the cradle that's nearest the door into the shifting sands, we can find Violet 4 if we use the spider to crawl up into the tubing nearby. Continuing along in the cradle, we can find Adams 4 down below near the entrance of the core foundry dungeon that'll be required for us to continue the story. In order to get down here, you'll have to do a large series of spider walkways and some platforming. Those robots in the movies we used to walk. Once inside of Core Foundry, you'll come to the first main room where you use the spider to attach onto the walkway on the left and then use some platforms to jump across. If you jump across to the top right hand side instead of jumping down into your objective area, you can find Roldan 4. Now we've made our way into the Shifting Sands, and we're going to go for Roldan 6, which is located in the top left of this area. You should be able to easily spot this on top of a crate inside of this small zone. February 2084. 
Continuing on from the previous collectible, we'll need to have Spider and Ape equipped in order to use the walkway here to jump into a small gap in the cliffside and then loop our way around using the Ape to demolish a large beam so that we can then climb that beam onto another small cliff thing. And on top of that, we can find Roldan number five. January 2084. Those mandate fools. Backtracking just a tiny bit from the previous one, we're going to go to the Lost Crawler in the Shifting Sands in the top left. You'll want to go inside and find Adams 5 hanging from a small piece of machinery in the top left of the area. Would be pretty worthless if they just... Violet 5 can be found relatively closely to the most northern fast travel point in the Shifting Sands. As you proceed south, you'll notice that there is a large circular object on the map, which is the Pit of Oblivion Dungeon. Just off to the left-hand side, as you approach it from that fast travel point, you should see the audio log. We can find Violet number 9 and Violet number 10 very close to the entrance of the Colosseum Dungeon, which is located on this rock formation. You'll need to use the spider in order to be able to access the area. From the previous audio log near the mouth of the Colosseum Dungeon, just drop down and you should be able to spot Violet number 10. This will be your second to last Violet audio log. Adams number 8 can be found in the Shifting Sands near the hand-looking robotic metal object that's near the middle offset to the left a little bit. And it can be found directly under the third finger counting from the right while facing them. We're still in the shifting sands. This time we're at the fast travel point closest to the Warren, which is a story based dungeon. And from that fast travel point, you should be able to easily spot Adams 9, which is basically going to be directly behind you as you spawn. Off in the distance, you should also be able to notice a violet audio log. So Violet number six, which is our last Violet audio log, will be located on that cliff's edge. Just jump over to it and unlock your achievement. Adam's number six can be found inside of the Warren dungeon, which is part of the story. Inside of the first major room where you find the chest in the top of the area after using the plugs to get to the top, you'll find the audio log right nearby. Said you can't have a core bot without a frame. <laughs> Roll Dan number seven, one of the hardest to find, is also inside of the Warren. You will need the ape frame and the flyer frame. Use the flyer frame to get across the gap from the entrance instead of going deep inside of the dungeon. Come on, let's fly. After flying across, jump down the ledge and turn around in order to see a wall that you can activate with the ape frame and behind that wall you'll find Roldan number 7. April 2084. 
Adam 7 can be found directly after exiting the Warren dungeon. It's also in the Shifting Sands, but you won't be able to access this area unless you've knocked out a wall from this side using the ape frame. You'll have to go through the Warren dungeon and then come out the end of it in order to get into this area. Again, if you don't already have the area opened from the back. When your mom got infected, she... Roldan number eight can be found inside of the Eden Tower on floor one. This is the main floor going up the stairs to the elevator. You'll notice it on the left hand side. September 2087. The first mandate ships were... After reaching the elevator room of Eden Tower Floor 2, you'll notice that there is Roldan Audio Log Number 9 just before entering the elevator room. Adams Number 10 can be found inside of Eden Tower Floor Number 4. As soon as you enter, it'll be on your left hand side, and this will be your last Adams Audio Log, unlocking an achievement. I guess this is how it feels to be the last human being on Earth. Ready? Roldan number 10 can be found in Eden Tower Floor 5 inside of the elevator room at the end of the floor. You'll notice it nearest the actual elevator that'll lead you up. It's just off to the left hand side. And this will be your last Roldan audio log, which means you should have three of the four audio log achievements unlocked by now. The other prisoner took me to a part of Far Eden. Natalie Bright audio log number six can be found inside of the Armory Flux dungeon. After going down the first straight, you should notice it in the top left hand side on a small cliff. You want to land and then use the rocks to jump up. Since our Natalie Bright number nine can be found in the Forsaken Halls dungeon. Just after starting, you'll notice that there's some boxes off to the left. If you destroy them, you should be able to easily, easily spot this audio log on a small platform. To feel sorry for you, Dr. Roldan. Natalie Bright audio log number eight can be found inside of the Coliseum dungeon. This is directly after completing the arena and opening the door into the end. You don't have to complete all your secondary objectives, but as you enter the final room, you'll want to drop down and locate the audio log directly under you as you enter. and I'm afraid things are much worse. Natalie Bright, audio log number five, can be found in the Obsidian Run dungeon. As soon as you enter, jump up to the top left to land on a rock in order to find it. Dr. Roldan, we verified the results. Natalie Bright, audio log number seven, can be found inside of the Acid Marsh dungeon. After completing the dungeon, enter the final room and find the audio log directly under the ramp that leads you downstairs. It's Natalie Bright. 
Last but not least is Natalie Bright, audio log number 10, which is found inside of the Pit of Oblivion dungeon. You'll need to find the five red Corbots in the Shifting Sands in order to open the door, and I've included a small map to show you their general locations. After reaching the very top of this dungeon, just before the final room with all the rewards, you'll want to turn around and then jump on the pipe underneath the last platform in order to find this audio log. And that's that. That should be all 40 out of 40 of the audio logs available in ReCore. Thank you for coming along this journey with me, and I hope the video was helpful and that you got all four of your achievements. Please share this video with a friend. I spent a lot of time making it. Drop a like if it was useful. Subscribe for more content. Special thanks to the gigs and Doc Cupcake for supporting the show on Patreon, and hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.